Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation, thank you very much for joining me. I've been meaning to do this for a while, so finally have an opportunity to do this uh, and to do some reviews of the channel panel event that was done by Rob Ganter and Kalina Angel. And the first one was Ashua of the Yael. Now, uh, there was four channelings that day, and um, and Ashwa had come in as one of those channelings. And uh, during the session, I wasn't able to attend physically. Rob had invited me. Rob and Kalina had invited me. And I wasn't able to get out there to L.A. So I watched the live telecast event, like the live broadcast. And uh, I tell you, I'm glad that I didn't go because I was just useless. I couldn't sleep that night. And as I was walking around all that day, I couldn't shake the idea that I had existed. All these different channels had come through. And I was very impactful in that. In his conversations, the core topic was re-exploring the idea that you are unconditional love and that you exist effectively. And there was one part of his channeling that he was talking about um, that they had tuned in to their DNA and as a collective, as a society, all physicality, all collective consciousness had focused over a span of a couple years on their DNA and exploring the idea of who came first, of those who came first, the Anunnaki. Yay. And because they are our children, <clears throat> that they were exploring into the DNA to find out what they were feeling and the fact that we were reaching out in these ideas. And I, I had seen the channeling, and this wasn't discussed in the channel panel event, but it, it's, it, it's related. They had um, the idea, I still had discussed that Bashar had come and was uh, someone who handled first contact for their world and had mentioned us, say, yo, you know, you want to explore the idea of the ancestors, the Anunnaki, those who came first, the people that you're starting to get a sense that are reaching out. And I said, well, you know, can I, you know, if you want to tune into them, here's a way to do that. And I believe that's what they did as a collective was to tune into us and to get an idea of what it was like. And he was saying in the channel panel event, that they got an idea of what it was like and then they, they figured out over time because there was a lot of confusion that we had forgotten our unconditional love and our unconditional loving nature, our core. They're born into that uh, genetically accelerated, spiritually and physically so that there is a lot of purity in their system and their soul and their ability to channel into their higher self and into the oversoul. So that's all interconnected in, in them, so they don't see any separation, they have no fear, they have no anxieties, and you know, so when they're tuning into us and they're trying to see what's going on, they're like, what the heck is going on? What's going on in this society? And they finally figured out over time that we had f chosen to forget that our unconditional nature, and this whole channeling was redirecting back to the ideas of logic. You can't not exist. Existence only knows how to exist. We can only discuss ideas and concepts of non-existence because existence doesn't know how not to exist. And Bashar has said everything that's already going to fill up non-existence already fills up non-existence and there's no room in non-existence for the things that exist. So it's this it's this logic, he and he was going over all these logical terms to try to condition the mind and get us to be able to be more in tune and in sync. And that was really the whole point of the whole channeling was to exercise an exercise in, in, in the mind. And there's a lot of information coming through energetically in this channeling that, um, you know, isn't that unfolds over time because it's been a couple months now and I'm only now feeling that I can start to do um, some videos on this and there's still so much in there that wants to share there might be and I might have to do other videos I was thinking of doing a video on each of the channels and uh, see what comes through so that's basically what feels like it wants to share this time and uh, there's tons of other concepts that were gone around but I think the most important one that feels like sharing is that you exist you're loved 
uh, you can tune into the yell yell anytime the last thing that I'll, I'll share that wasn't shared in this video but the one that I've been concentrating on that was an exciting idea for me is in the yell yell civilization children are never left alone are not touched they're held there's always somebody at least one entity in constant contact with the children until they express the idea that they want some space and then they can always go back and into uh, and be touched and I'm sure they express that telepathically or verbally however they express that it is expressed so they are touched um, and I have done exercises where I projected myself um, in the idea of being one of those that are energetically in an astral state that are touching the children in the Yaya home world I get a lot of energetic feedback from that so if that's an exciting idea if you like that idea, I think that's one that's interesting to exercise is to, is to put that out there as far as like, you know, you can go visit the IEL homeworld in Astro State anytime, any, any, any way you want. But I think this um, participating in the touching of children is generally more than one entity uh, just sounded exciting to me. So I thought I'd introduce that as an idea. Thank you very much for joining me, Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation, coaching life, business, and spiritual, and also now retreats. Down below in the description, there's always cool things going on, all the things I just mentioned. You can find links for, uh, along with many other things I'm not going to mention that would take forever. Uh, links to other channels, and in this case, there's links to be able to buy the channel panel event. Um, so that if you want to listen to it and catch up, if you didn't get to be there to listen to um, the live stream, it's available for purchase, and there's a link down below for that. And if you do like this video, please do like, subscribe, and share.